In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer this 8mm tape onto your PC digitally using this 8mm camera, which also serves as a player. Now, I have some hardware and software to be able to do that. The hardware is this IO data that you can get on Amazon, and it comes with this USB device. It's called a GV USB 2. Now, it also comes with driver software on a CD. Now, I understand that newer computers may not have a CD player, so I'm sure that you can download the driver online. For the software, I'm going to use OBS Studio. It is a really fantastic, pretty easy to use software program that's a free download. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is download OBS Studio. You can easily do a search, OBS Studio, and it is right here under OBS Project. Go to their website, and you have your choice between Windows, Mac, or Linux. So I'm just going to use the Windows. I already have it installed, so I'm going to get out of this. Let's go ahead and get our camera set up. First, I'm going to turn it on to the VTR mode. Let's get our tape in. Now, in order to connect the camera to the GV USB 2, I need to connect this cord here that I have into the camera, which is, goes into the audio video out port. And on the end of this, I have my white, red, and yellow RCA, which is going to go on the USB drive just like this. You're gonna match the white with the white, the yellow with the yellow, and the red with the red. And then this end will connect into the computer. There we go. Don't forget to install your driver software in your computer. If you don't have a CD player in your computer, I'm sure you can find the driver online. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and launch OBS. I already have it open, so I just had to click on it. You're gonna see a lot of different things here. Big blue screen, a lot of windows. It can be a little intimidating. Up top, you have your file, your edit, your view, docs, profile, just tons of stuff here. But we're just gonna keep this really simple for you. This big blue screen right here, I'm gonna actually just shrink that down. This is called your canvas window. This is where your video is going to be displayed. At the bottom, on the left, you have your scenes, your source, audio mixer, scene transitions don't have to worry about scene transitions and your control panel right here we're going to start with the control panel i'm going to go to settings and under the general tab the language english and um, you also have all these different languages to choose from just in case you're in a different part of the world than i am so, but I'm gonna choose English. The theme is Yami. That looks great. We don't have to worry about updates or outputs or anything going on down here. We wanna go to output. Output is where we're choosing our path for where the video is going to be stored on the computer. At the top, you have output mode. Keep it simple. Keep it simple, silly. You can go to advance, but why? I mean, OBS is such a cool software program. You don't really have to mess with much. Like the streaming, we're not streaming. We're capturing video, eight millimeter tapes. So we're gonna go to recording. The recording path is where you're going to have your video recorded to on your computer. I already have a file set up a folder called uh, OBS 8mm tape. So that's fine, it's, I'll just hit select. The recording quality 
it automatically goes to high quality medium file size or you have distinguishable quality, which is a large file, or lossless quality, it's tremendously large, it says. We don't need that. We just need high quality, medium size. The recording format is MPEG-4. You have QuickTime as well. Uh, I would just keep it as MPEG-4 because that's universal for PC and for Mac. The audio encoder, it's just AAC as the default, and your audio track is one. That looks great. So perfect here. We're gonna go to video now. What it typically does whenever you first install OBS is it defaults to um, the 16 by nine ratio, which is letterbox, but because we're capturing eight millimeter tape, that has usually been done in a four by three aspect ratio, which is like an old square TV. So we want to manually type in the aspect ratio that we want, the canvas resolution, which is 1440, oops, 1440 by, which is times 1080. And see, it automatically just changed it to the aspect ratio of four by three. So the output scale, we're gonna highlight and delete that, and we're gonna do 1440. It automatically starts filling it in, and the aspect ratio is four by three. That's perfect. Downscale filter, you can't even click on that. The common frame value, because I'm doing this for the United States. We're going to keep this as 59.94. If you want to do PAL, you go the 50 PAL, but we're going to do the 59.94. That's it. That's all you need in these settings. So hit apply and okay. The next thing we want to do is go to the scene right here. Now you can keep it as scene where it is, or you can hit the plus sign and you can type in whatever you want eight millimeter tape and hit okay it doesn't make a difference I'm gonna go back to the original scene so we're gonna cruise on over here to source and video capture device double click on that the device is GV USB 2 that is the device that we have plugged into the computer. That's also the only device that I have on my computer. If you have different devices that you use, you're gonna have a drop down list right here that'll choose, but because I only have that one, it's only letting me choose that. Um, you don't have to worry about really anything else on this page, so just hit okay. Now we're gonna stay under the source and we're gonna right click on video capture device and we want to go to um, deinterlace. Deinterlacing, we wanna just make sure that it's chosen the Yadav two times. It's already chosen for you. You just wanna double check, make sure it's there and that it's selected. Perfect. See how my the blue box is right like that. If I hit play on my camera, it is going to show up in that little screen there. And that's actually what it's going to capture at if we keep it there. So if we do a video capture, right click and go to transform and we want to um, stretch the screen. And see now it popped in and it stretched the screen and that's exactly what we want. You don't have to mess with anything else. Under the video capture device, the audio mixer, you want to make sure that you see these little bars dancing right here and you want to just make sure to keep it in the green. Don't go in the yellow and definitely don't go in the red. Keep it in the green. It's sort of like a a stoplight, you know, green for go, yellow for oh, slow down a little bit, and red for stop. 
So don't keep it in the red, just keep it in the green as best you can. If it peeks into the yellow, that's okay. Over here is a scene transition. Don't have to worry about that. If everything looks great, you can go over here to your controls and you can hit start recording just for a test. So let's test it. Start recording. Okay, that looks good. Let's hit stop recording. I'm gonna hit stop on my player. Let's rewind it back to the beginning. Now let's go check that file. See how it looks. So, um, it is probably going to be, it time codes everything. So I believe it's this one right here. Our fishing guy. Look at that. Peter, he's animated. So now that we're done with that and we did a test and we know that everything is great. What I like to do now is go to my player, fast forward to the very end, find the end point of the video. Now, if you're just using analog video and not the digital eight, you're going to want to take the tape out and put it back in and then find the very end and then hit rewind. And when you do that, you're going to see exactly how long your tape is going to be. And then use a timer. Set the timer to see how long it's gonna be so you don't have to sit here and watch your tape record or digitize. So I already have it rewound completely and I'm gonna hit play. I know that everything looks great. And when I see the picture, I'm gonna hit start recording. Happy Halloween, everyone. Okay, so for all intents and purposes, what we wanna do is say, hey, we just got to the end of the tape and this is where we wanna stop. So we just hit stop recording. Now we can hit stop on our player. Go back, we can check the file and the file's right here. And it looks absolutely perfect. This is the nice video story. looks good, the yeah. audio is great, Skeletons. everything is great. That is really how simple it is to use the OBS Studio software program. So that was a pretty easy way to transfer your 8mm tapes onto your PC, right? It didn't take too much, but you do need a working player, the software, and the IO data USB connection device. I gotta tell you, this is a really fantastic little device. I have a link to Amazon in the description if you wanna purchase it. It's only about 50 bucks, but remember if you do hit the link, you are going to be helping my channel monetarily. Now, if you don't have the time or the means to be able to transfer your own media, I would love to be able to help you out. You can contact me at info at coloradospringsvideo.com or you can go to my website coloradospringsvideo.com. I do have a special order form that you can fill out and mail to me along with your media. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe, like, and ring that bell for future notifications. You have yourself a wonderful day.